You can naturally protect your dog from fleas and ticks. It's 100% effective. Four-legged friends are particularly prone to having parasites in their fur. Ticks, fleas, and lice cause dogs to constantly scratch themselves. Bites, especially from ticks, are additionally dangerous. Ticks carry diseases. These arachnids feed all year round except when temperatures drop below zero degrees. The biggest threat is in spring. We forget that warmer days stimulate these arachnids to become active. Domestic animals, such as dogs and cats, need to be checked more often during this time. There are various products for dogs and cats available in pet stores or veterinary clinics, but they are often quite expensive. If you're looking for a cheaper and natural way, we recommend this trick. Anyone who leads an eco-friendly garden and lifestyle surely has this natural product in their cupboard, which kills insects and parasites. It's diatomaceous earth. It also eliminates ticks, lice, and fleas. Sprinkle it on your dog and rub the powder into their fur. You can use gloves. Comb through the dog to distribute the product well. Avoid the muzzle. The powder should not get into the eyes, ears, or nostrils. After three days, you can bathe the dog. All parasites will die during this time. If they reappear, repeat the treatment. Don't forget to also take care of the dog's bedding. Sprinkle it with diatomaceous earth as well. It's a natural and effective way to deal with ticks. Put the plastic bag into the washing machine. You'll be surprised what it can do. A simple disposable plastic bag will make your clothes cleaner after being taken out of the washing machine. How is this possible? Clothes carry dust, dirt, and hair. During washing, these contaminants often settle around the seal of the washing machine. That's why there are various dust and hair residues underneath it. All of this stays in the drum. Then these contaminants mix with the clothes in the next wash. But the solution may turn out to be a simple plastic bag. Put it in the washing machine. It must be a bag without printing. Add the clothes you need to wash. Add laundry detergent or a capsule. Pour fabric softener. Set the program to a temperature not higher than 40 degrees and start the washing. What will happen? There will certainly be more foam than usual. Due to the plastic bag, the detergent will foam more. Additionally, during the washing cycle, the plastic bag will collect all the dirt, fur, and hair that were on the clothes. When the washing machine finishes washing, open it and take out the laundry in the plastic bag. I'll show you that there is fine dust and hair on it, and I only washed one blouse. The blouse is clean, the washing machine too, and the residues were either rinsed away with water or removed from the plastic bag. If you see a dog with a yellow ribbon, walk away. A yellow ribbon on a dog is not just an ornament. Every dog is different. Some enjoy people and gladly play with them. They like petting. They are trusting and friendly. Other dogs may react differently. Their behavior might surprise us. This is due to various dog personalities, their experiences with people, as well as factors like health status or age. A young puppy behaves differently from an older dog. A dog after surgery or illness behaves differently as well. Because of these various options, dog owners came up with the idea to mark their dogs. The color yellow is quite characteristic. Therefore, a yellow leash, collar, or simply a ribbon has a certain meaning. The yellow ribbon is a symbol of the Worldwide Yellow Dog Project initiative. If you want to mark your dog too, all you need is a simple yellow ribbon or tape. Make a bow and attach it to the collar or leash. This will be a sign for others to stay away. If your dog is afraid, nervous, or needs peace, use this method and inform others about its meaning. A yellow ribbon, tape, bandana, or leash means do not touch, do not approach. This way, your dog will be less stressed, regardless of the cause of its current mood. An ordinary milk bottle has a hidden use. It can be handy in the kitchen, so it's worth not throwing it away. It turns out that manufacturers, when creating the packaging, did not know that they used materials with hidden properties. This applies to cardboard packages, which are the most popular, as well as those made of plastic. It turns out that both can be used in our kitchen for a completely different purpose. Once we have finished the milk, we should rinse the bottle to remove any residues, then, using a wallpaper knife, cut off its part. It's about the part of the carton that is right next to the cap. Cut out the packaging precisely, leaving a few centimeters. The most valuable part of the bottle 
is precisely the cap. The rest of the carton can be thrown away. This preserved part of the packaging will come in handy for organizing the pantry. Any part of any milk carton with a cap can be used in a way that I will show you shortly. Just take an open package of nuts or loose products, unscrew the cap and thread the top part of the package through it, then lay it flat and screw on the cap. Milk bottle caps are larger than standard ones. They are often made of durable plastic, making them perfect for recycling. Instead of spending a fortune on caps, you can make them from milk bottles. Pour the contents of this bottle into the toilet. It will be clean and shiny like new. The dirt will disappear. If you also enjoy cleanliness, everything properly disinfected and smelling fresh, then this method is for you. I'll give you a very simple but effective recipe for a mixture that will clean the toilet, sink, and tiles. You'll also get rid of the unpleasant smell from the toilet. Everything in the bathroom will shine and smell pleasant. Pour one liter of water into a bowl. The water should be at room temperature. Add 150 milliliters of any dishwashing liquid. Add one tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda absorbs unpleasant odors, softens water. It is slightly abrasive, so it effectively removes stains and dirt. It also has bactericidal properties. Also, add three teaspoons of hair bleach. It's an oxidizer, but stronger than 3% hydrogen peroxide. It effectively whitens and removes stains. It works great for cleaning ceramic toilets and sinks. Add half a cap of fabric softener. This will make the bathroom smell pleasant. Pour everything into any bottle. I'll use a bottle from a drink and make a hole in the cap, but you can use a spray bottle. Spray the inside of the toilet and scrub. You don't need to use store-bought products. This mixture will last you a long time. Also, clean the sink. Use gloves because of the bleach used. You can also clean the floor and wall tiles with this solution. Everything will be clean and shiny. Trick to make your entire kitchen shine. Metal pots, bowls, and elements on various equipment will regain their shine. This way, you will remove all stains and streaks from metal dishes. Steel will look like new. You can recommend this method to friends and family. Pour a tablespoon of cornstarch into a bowl. Our grandmothers often used starch to clean various surfaces. Add a tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda is excellent for removing greasy stains. Pour a measure of laundry detergent. Add one measure of dishwashing liquid. Pour a glass of water. Mix everything together. These products are excellent for removing various stains and will deal with streaks and stains on steel elements. Pour the mixture into a measuring cup and using a funnel. Pour it into a bottle with a spout. It can be an empty bottle from the previous dishwashing liquid. You can use this liquid immediately to clean metal elements in kitchen equipment. Just use a small amount of liquid and wipe the equipment with a cloth, then wipe dry with a towel. You will quickly notice that the steel becomes shiny. Stains and streaks disappear. You can also clean a metal kettle with it. Without scrubbing, it will be shiny as new in a few seconds. This liquid keeps all my pots clean. They are shiny like new.